the number one tactic of jealous manipulative people but first like and subscribe to the channel and share this content hit the notification bell so that you're aware when i post a brand new video the number one way jealous people try to manipulate you especially when you notice their jealousy you notice they're acting different you notice that the energy has shifted they try to manipulate you by getting you to think it's all in your head like what you're feeling and what you're seeing is some kind of imagined behavior like they actually didn't do anything it's all in your head what do i mean by that if you have a relationship with someone let's say you're in a relationship and you might get a new job all of a sudden the energy changes you notice that that person is no longer all you know woo wooing you they're no longer being all kind and nice to you now they suddenly are a little distant when somebody is jealous and insecure in your presence they will get distance and if you address it instead of them saying hey you know i'm happy for you i wish i was doing this you show me how to do it you know instead of them saying those kind of things they get distant and quiet and let's say you have the urge to address it or you feel like you know what you want to know what's going on they'll tell you why would i feel that way i have no reason to feel this way they get very defensive and when a person automatically gets defensive because you're asking them about a situation that suddenly changed because the energy has shifted because they're no longer talking to you the way they used to they're no longer being as kind to you as they used to they will try to manipulate you and tell you that it's all in your head nobody's thinking about that nobody's thinking about you and one of the other favorite lines of jealous people is that why would i need to be jealous of you why this why that all while they're showing bitter and negative behavior toward you see i had different situations in my life not specifically dealing with you know one specific issue but like i've said in previous videos people can be jealous of you not just because of what you have but because of who you are and in my opinion when somebody is jealous of something that is intrinsic because let's be real you know if anybody wants a nicer house a nicer car a nicer job if you're willing to do the work or do whatever you have to do to get it there's nothing that anybody else cannot achieve that you have you know if you have a nice house people can get nice houses but if you are a beautiful person on the inside if your character and the way you carry yourself that's something on the inside that nobody can really imitate that is when jealousy gets dangerous so when somebody says to you i have no reason to be jealous of you they automatically get defensive and it's not that you would address them and say hey i think you're jealous of me it's simply saying especially when you're talking to a friend and you notice that they've gotten a little distant they don't really call you as much they don't talk to you the way they used to and you notice that and you notice it didn't change until something in your life changed let's say for instance you got a new job you moved into a nicer house you got a nicer car you're in a good relationship and now all of a sudden your friend they're no longer talking to you the way they used to they might text you or call you once a week they might text you or call you once every month or now you find yourself having to chase after them see those things tend to happen when people and i can hear somebody saying it now you know well people just get busy in life they have their own lives i'm not talking about that i'm talking about when you tell someone that hey this happened for me i'm now the ceo of my corporation i now own all the houses on the block you know and you're sharing this not to brag you're talking to a friend and suddenly you notice their energy has shifted where they are distant from you and now they don't want to talk to you that is jealousy and they'll try to manipulate you by saying i have no reason to be jealous of you why would i be acting funny the number one thing the other thing that people like to do when they're jealous and manipulative when you ask them a question they will turn it back around and ask you a question they throw it back at you they slingshot those questions instead of addressing the issue at hand and why they are acting the way they're acting they slingshot it back on you to negate the fact that you actually notice their behavior 
I'm telling you, people and the psychology of people, if you, you don't have to be a licensed therapist or psychologist to study the behavior of other humans. And if you have been in the presence of other humans your entire life, and you've been in different situations with jealous, manipulative people who like to gaslight you into believing you're crazy, you will pick up on different behaviors and know how to protect yourself. And this spirit of jealousy, this wickedness, this manipulative spirit and the tactics that people use, when you recognize that they are manipulation tactics being used against you to make you think you're crazy when in actuality, something did change. So back to the example of the person who, you know, your friend, all of a sudden they're not talking to you. When somebody automatically gets defensive, when you ask them a reasonable question, now you're not asking them, are you jealous of me? You're saying, why haven't you called me in a while? I haven't talked to you. I've been busy. I, okay. And especially with us women, we just start giving attitude for no good reason. That's another way you can tell that something's going on, that you might have done something, not that you did anything wrong, but it's something in your life, something that you're doing that is rubbing that person the wrong way and making them feel uncomfortable in your presence. And if it is something positive, if it's a, a new life change, or God forbid, you know, as women, you start looking better and you start feeling better and you're more confident, some of your friends can't handle that. And yeah, I'm sorry to say a lot of our friends, and thankfully I don't have people in my life who are like that anymore, but a lot of your friends, they can't handle when you're doing well. There's such a thing as having the pitiful friend, the friend that you have to feel sorry for, the friend you know you got to come rescue, the friend that you know is going to be the one that will always keep you talking. And, you know, because of that, you will always have to be their rescue. And when you have a friend that suddenly, because I know how it is, because I used to be that friend. I used to be that person where, you know, I was always something negative, something was wrong and people could count on me to have something wrong in my life. They can count on me to complain about something. But suddenly when God started breaking that off of me and giving me that confidence and that feminine boldness and that wisdom to know that carrying yourself like this as a woman is really not hot. You know, you don't want to carry yourself in a pitiful way. So when you suddenly get more confident and people in your life, friends, family, whomever, when they see that you're not still the same pitiful person, you're not still the same person that needs to cry on their shoulder every five minutes about everything, and now you're handling things essentially on your own with the help of God, you're more confident. A lot of people don't know how to handle that. They don't know how to handle you at your best. A lot of people like you at your worst. And I know that's hard to grapple with, but it is the truth. Many people like you at your worst. So when you become a little too confident, you become a little too healthy, you start doing well for yourself um, work-wise or any other way financially, a lot of people will not like that. And if you address it, especially when it's somebody you care about, they are going to take it as if you are coming against them a personal attack all because of their insecurity and their jealousy. And they will try to manipulate you and gaslight you into believing that you're just imagining how you're feeling. You're imagining how the situation is. In reality, they did feel some kind of way because now you're doing better in life. You might be or they might perceive you as doing better than them. And honestly, you have no control over that. And when you find yourself suddenly dealing with people that used to be your friends, used to be close family, and now it's like they turned on you all because you're doing better, those are people that you really don't need to be around anyway. You see, if somebody can only handle you at your worst, you don't really want to deal with those kind of people. You want people around you who can deal with you at your worst, but also appreciate you when you are at your best and not look at it as a threat to them as a person. That is a very awkward and uncomfortable situation to be in. So back to the manipulation tactics that people use when they are jealous of you. They automatically get, get defensive. They are suddenly a victim. People who are insecure and jealous, they are always a victim. They're a victim of circumstances. They're a victim of, you know, their own issues. They're a victim anytime somebody tries to hold them accountable for their actions and their behavior, they're suddenly a victim. So jealous, manipulative people, they carry that victim mentality, number one. Number two, 
They are always looking for the worst in you and they like to try to find things in your past to throw against you so that they can feel better about their future. Yes, when people feel threatened by what you're doing in life right now, they will try to dig into your past and find something that will make them feel better being in your presence. Uh, let's use something dramatic. Let's say you're now you're a full time mom, you're a wife, you're married, you have kids and, you know, God has redeemed you from your past and all these different things. You know, everybody has a past, but they'll say, yes, yeah, she's married now, but she got two baby dads. So <laughs> you got some people who are like that. You have some people are just so negative and nasty. Like she's working at this job now. She's the CEO, but she didn't tell you when she was in high school, she worked at that job and she got caught still not to register. Like, and I'm not saying any of that is okay, but it's a past. It's your past life. And when people are jealous and manipulative, they start digging and looking for things to see what they can find to make you look bad right now. So people who are jealous and manipulative, they, even if they're your friend or you thought they were your friend, they will try to dig some things up on you to try to make you look bad now because you're making them feel uncomfortable. And then the number three thing that people do when they are jealous and manipulative, and it's leading back to what I said the first time, they like to make you think it's all in your head. There's nothing worse than someone trying to gaslight you into thinking that you're crazy, as if how you feel is all imagined. You can tell most of us as women, because we have that intuition, because our emotions are so strong and we're so connected to our feelings, we understand when somebody is not treating us well, we can feel that. We might not be able to understand it or verbalize it, but we can feel when something is not right. And especially, this goes more so when you're dealing with men. Because when a man has a jealous, manipulative spirit, because men tend not to be so as emotional as women, I apologize, I was looking down at my phone, my husband is texting me. When women... We are more emotional and men tend not to be as emotional as us. But when they are insecure and jealous, they have a way of telling us, okay, you shouldn't feel that way. Or why would I feel this way? Once again, those twisting of the words. And as a woman, if you're not wise or you're not accustomed to really just thinking first and letting your emotion lead, you will let somebody manipulate you into believing that it's all in your head. And during those times, I think you really have to just get quiet and allow the person to talk. That way you can process the emotion and understand, you know what? They're trying to gaslight me. They're trying to get me to think I'm crazy, but I know what I'm feeling and I know that the situation has changed. Don't let somebody make you think you're crazy all because they don't want to take accountability for their actions. So dealing with a jealous and manipulative person, it can be very dangerous, it can be very unsettling, and it can definitely have you all bottled up in your emotions, especially as a woman. And when you're dealing with people like that, which I suggest you don't, because people who are always defensive and they feel like they're never wrong, those are not people that you can truly build strong relationships with. Now, I'm not talking about the occasional argument you have within your relationship because I think most of us being married to men, a lot of them think they're never wrong. And when you're married, it's more so about de-escalating the situation and not letting everything grow out of hand, especially if it's not anything that's really serious. You got to just sometimes let them fill the fire. For men, and this is for married women, men... When you're in a relationship, when you're married to a man, you got to let them just be and fill the fire and realize what you're saying is right. Because eventually what happens is that men, they can take criticism and they can take conversation from other men. But it's something about you doing it as a woman. They just, you know, especially when you're their wife, it's like they can't receive it depending on what it is. But when they hear it from somebody else or they see the consequences of what you were saying, then they're like, oh, well, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. So when it comes to your relationship and different things like that, I will say that you kind of just like to let them be. Yes, I know it's not fair. I didn't create the game, but that's just how it is. With men, because it's so much ego involved, they just say things and you just have to let it roll off of your back sometimes. As long as it's not anything that's very harmful or detrimental. You know, petty arguments. But 
manipulative and jealous people, nothing to play with. And as women, you really have to be mindful to not allow people to manipulate you and get you thinking you're crazy. Stand your ground, be soft, but don't let people manipulate you to the point that you feel like you have to hold yourself back for them to feel comfortable in your presence. All right. Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watch this video until the very end, hit the high hill emoji. I absolutely love to see it. Take care.